Hi guys, I'm Ravina and welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make my late grandmother's pea soup. This recipe is pure comfort for me and I hope it will be for you too. I have a medium pan over a medium heat and into it I'm going to put two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now my grandmother, for whatever reason, always called vegetables vegetables. So it's two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then for the vegetables that I'm going to add, I have one onion which I've just, you know, roughly chopped, a stick of celery, and a stick of carrot. And then to that, I have three bay leaves, which is my touch, and I have three cloves of garlic. Okay, this is my brilliant technique. So I take the cloves of garlic, and I just smash them and peel them. And what I do is I add them in like this, and then when you puree your soup at the end, you get this, like, lovely you know, garlicky hint throughout the whole soup and it's perfect, I promise you. So try it because it's my brilliant technique. And now I'm just going to give this a stir and then I'm going to let this saute for two, three minutes or until the veggies are softened slightly. And then I'm going to add two cups of dried split peas. And the important thing to know whenever you're using a dried legume or grain is that you need to rinse it so well. And this will take like five minutes because you need to keep rinsing it until the water runs clear. My veggies are softened, add in my peas, and to that I'm going to add six cups of water. And it's really important not to add any salt at this stage because salt will prevent your legumes from breaking down and softening. I know a lot of people like to pre-soak their legumes. I never see the need. How to cook it. Turn the heat up to high, cover, and then once it starts boiling, you're going to turn the heat down to low and let this cook for 40 minutes. And at that point, we'll finish it up together and we'll season it. My soup is cooked and I've just pulled out my bay leaves. Remember, three in, three out. And I have here my hand immersion blender, or as we like to call it in my family, the woozer, because like it makes a woozing sound. So I'm going to bouge this until I achieve my desired consistency, which is pretty smooth, but if you like it chunky, feel free to leave it chunky. And if you don't have a hand immersion blender, you can absolutely do this in a blender. Once it's smooth, I'm going to add a really good pinch of salt. Remember, we haven't added any salt yet, so don't freak out. And a really good grind of black pepper. And then, and this is the thing that my grandmother never did, I like a little bit of lemon juice. And if you squeeze it over your hand, you'll catch any seeds that come out of the lemon. So not even the juice of half a lemon should be perfect. And let's give it a taste. It looks like I'm putting in a lot of salt, but I'm using coarse salt. And you need twice the amount of coarse salt than table salt. So you use twice as much. So I'm not going crazy, I swear. I'm not trying to give anyone a heart attack or sodium overdose. Mmm, it tastes exactly like my grandmother's cooking, like when I'd go over for dinner for her and she'd always make me pea soup and matzo balls, which is an awesome combination. The soup is perfect. It's really warm and comforting and perfect for this time of year. And I really hope you give it a try. Mmm, and I will see you next Thursday. Comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.